10 viral photos that fooled everyone. The perfect body. This image was claimed to have been from 1955 and represented the perfect body of the time, showing how the perception of women today is highly corrupted. However, the model in the photo is actually adult film star Aria Giovanni, who was born in 1977. The photo's earliest origins actually date back to 2010. JFK and Marilyn The speculation that John F. Kennedy had an affair with Marilyn Monroe is a tale as old as time. But people, including historians, have searched for documents far and wide to support the claim. So when a photo of JFK in an embrace with Marilyn Monroe went viral, rumors seemed to be confirmed. Well, then photographer Allison Jackson came forward and said the photos were fake because she took them. She is famous for using lookalike models in her work. Lightning striking a tree this photo has gone viral on social media with the story that a photographer captured the shot during a storm and had the camera set to long exposure. The photo was actually taken by an artist named Darren Pearson and the image was created with a technique called light painting. Pearson painted and manipulated the image, then posted it to his Facebook page. He didn't expect for the photo to go viral, nor for the context of the picture to be different. Upside down book. In 2002, a photo of George W. Bush went viral on the internet as it seemed to depict him holding a children's book upside down while he was reading to children. People used the photo as an opportunity to make fun of the former president's intelligence. However, the photo was a fake and Bush was holding the book correctly. Sandra Bland's mugshot. The death of Sandra Bland while in jail took the media by storm as controversy regarding police brutality is still alive in today's society. Conspiracy theories took off stating that Bland was already dead by the time she arrived at the police station for her mugshot, and proof began to circulate as an edited version of Bland's mugshot surfaced. The mugshot was clearly edited to show that Bland was dead, and the mugshot that was released by the authorities was fake. Bland's family was not amused, and the photo was revealed to be a hoax after videos of Bland's booking were released. Snowball the Cat Snowball the Cat was supposedly an 87-pound cat whose image appeared in early 2000 while being held by her owner. The photo even made it onto daytime talk shows like Good Morning America and The Today Show. However, in 2001, a man named Cordell Hawley came forward and said that the photo was a fake and that the cat was actually his daughter's cat named Jumper. Turns out he made the photo as a joke and did not expect it to go viral. The Syrian Boy a disturbing image of a young Syrian boy sleeping between the graves of his parents went viral, especially with the current crisis going on. But people have been very disappointed to find out the image was actually staged by 25-year-old photographer Abdul Aziz al Otabi, who is from the Middle East. He created the photo to represent a child's love for their parents and had nothing to do with Syria. Abdul was actually quite angry that his photo was used for any political propaganda. Dancing Audrey Hepburn while Audrey Hepburn was a triple threat and had many talents, there is not much photographic evidence. But then a photo depicting two girls dancing ballet on point went viral because it was believed the brunette was Audrey Hepburn. Turns out the photo was from Russia and became victim to a media plot for clickbait. The Haitian Woman This photo was taken in 2013 as a still from the movie Cristo Ray. However, that didn't stop the photo from going viral in 2014 and again in 2015. While Haitians who are living in the Dominican Republic are going through the turmoil that is escalating into a national disaster, this isn't a Haitian mother defending her son, as political activists paint this picture to be. The 9-11 Tourist this famous photo exploded on the internet after the 9-11 tragedy, which depicts a tourist posing from the observation deck as a plane heads toward the tower. Supposedly, the camera was found in the rubble. People realized the photo was a fake from several different clues. The morning of 9-11 was warm, and the tourist is bundled up. The south tower had the observation deck, and the north tower was hit first. What are the odds that he would still be posing for the photo? Also, the second plane hit the South Tower at 9.03 a.m., and the observation deck didn't open until 9.30 a.m. Did any of these photos fool you when you first saw them? Let us know about it in the comments. And don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks.